What's up, y'all? I'm back with another defensive video, and this one's a little more basic, and what we're going to do in this one is really give you guys an idea of how to better stop the run. People have been asking me, W, how do you stop the run? Blase, blah, what are some things you look for to try to stop? And these are just kind of principles that I had that kind of tie into every single run, not necessarily I form big or goal line or, or three wide receivers inside zone. But essentially what you want to do here is, is look at the formation. And how we are in an I form big twin tight end with two tight ends on the right. So they're going to warm up into the right. So essentially you need more blockers. You need more people on the right side than they have. That's It's a numbers game. It's like real football. But essentially most of the time what I won't do, unless they're really killing me, I won't switch my line. I, I won't move my line at all. But what you have to do and what people need to realize is the user the weak side safety. You need to understand what side of the formation is the weak side and which one's the strong side. The strong side is obviously where they have the two blockers. If it's I form pro, it's where the one tight end is. You know, and that's the direction the run is. 90% of the time, the run's going to go the other way. So essentially what you want to do is be on the weak side defender. That way, one, the blockers can take up your computer guys and you can be free to roam and scrape and make the play on the running back. Also, you, I mean, you have less responsibility. If you user want somebody on the strong side and they run to you, it's easier for you to get blocked and they can get a bigger play. You know, mostly it's just about you want a user that's not really there isn't a big deal if you mess up, honestly. And that's why a lot of times you see us will run cover four to stop the run. Now you see here if I'm sitting in cover four, Alshon Jeffrey can't burn me because I have a deep blue. So I can take my safety and do whatever I want with him, you know, because I, I know I have somebody covering Alshon Jeffrey deep. Whereas if this was cover two, I couldn't do that because I would have deep responsibility. Also, the other side, I, I don't have to worry about Ertz or Selleck going on a streak because I have my strong safety over there in a deep blue. So I'm kind of free to do whatever I want. You know, I have no responsibility. No one up top can beat me. The same thing in eye formation. And that's why another reason why we like to use it, a weak side safety. It's always a better person to use her. That way they run. You can come over here and scrape down, cover any runs over here. Also, another thing you have to realize sometimes that you might not be able to loop in real cute, like, you know, and hit stick somebody in the backfield. Sometimes if you're this person, you have to realize when, uh-oh, a run is hurting me. Mid-run, you have to realize, okay, instead of trying to blow the run up, I have to make sure he doesn't get a touchdown. Make sure that I, instead of taking an angle sharp down here, maybe you'll take an angle and go back like this and, you know, make sure he doesn't get by you. At the end of the day, you might be the last line of defense. But you all, you don't want to be the last line of defense. That's why we use it this side and have this guy over here too to help out on a run that way so whether it be a linebacker or somebody else you always want that time i made the play running over there because i if they blocked everybody else and i was able to make the play this is why i mean this is a prime example i mean this is the computer computer ran this play right here and you'll see right here that I'm, if I'm on this safe, the free safety, everybody else gets blocked. My strong safety gets blocked. If I'm on him, if I'm on a strong safety, I would have been blocked. And my and my free safety would have been all the way out of the play, and this would have got a lot more yards. But because I'm on a weak side safety, there's not enough players on a strong side to block me, and I'm able to come clean and make a play myself. You know, that's a big deal, and you have to get used to doing this. And I, I'll also show you guys another tip. Essentially, you got to... Learn where they want to run. Now, a lot of people that deuce closer, what happens when a formation is, is, is even? You know, single back ace or something like that. So we can go to, here. Let's find one that's that's even and doesn't have a strong side. Single back ace. You know, what I normally do, now the ball is in the middle of the field right now, but I would always treat the wide side like the strong side. You know, because so if, if they're on the left hash, I would use you know, this safety because I think they would run the ball to the wide side. I'm more vulnerable on the wide side. They have more room to run. So I would use her to safety on the other side. So that's what I would do against Deuce Close, Ace. Anything that's that's even with numbers, just treat the wide side like the strong side because the short side, they don't have as much leverage to run around you. And that way, you know, it's not as, you're not as vulnerable to the wide side or, or to the short side of the field. And I'll show you one more tip. That's a big deal for me that I've been using for a lot of time, a lot of years. And that's when I want to stop the run, instead of keeping my user in this deep blue, because if I keep my user in this deep blue, what's going to happen is when they snap the ball, is my first step is always going to be back. 
back because I'm not. I don't. You never know when your opponent's going to snap the ball back, back, back. So if I want to stop the run, what I will do is I will man up my safety on the running back. Now this is a great tool to use that I don't see a lot of people use, but I definitely use it. And that this is what happens when they snap the ball. My first step will cause my first step to go right to the running back, right to the. I mean, you could also blitz him or something like that, but that that's for me is too drastic. The blitz, the the direction your player gets when they blitz is, is out of control. It's hard to use them. It's, it's way harder to control. So what I'll do most of the time is just go ahead and man them up on the running back, and that way my first step is always down, so I can go and attack right away. You know because. I don't know when they rush that the ball. I can't react fast enough. I'm not good enough. I need the computer's help. And by manning up my safety, it will go ahead and help me stop the run. Because my first step, computer aided, will be right towards the running back. Look, so here we'll go again. I'll give you another a shotgun run to help y'all better understand what I mean by my strong side and and stuff like that. Because it's something you need to implement in your defense and allow you to go ahead and take the next step because if you if you can't stop the run the rest of the defense doesn't matter anybody can run the ball here we go this is just a wide trips inside zone now the same premise the shotgun's almost a lot easier because 90 percent i mean more 100 percent of the time the run's going to go to opposite side of the run back he has to run to the left because he's on the right side this is actually a lot of complaints we had in philly about chip kelly's offense because they always ran out of shotgun there was no counter to the other side everybody knew they would run to the left so essentially, you can shift your line, you and user this safety over here, man up the running back, you know, and that way to give us. Ah, uh, see that time I had a gap. I could have uh, Legarrette Blunt's a beast in practice mode. Once again, I'll show you in here. This was bad user by me, but you, I mean, that's what it comes down to most of the time. Everybody gets picked up, and I have all this free range to go and get the running back. Because I'm on the backside safety, I got tripped up right here. But most of the time, you'll come through here smooth and you'll be able to grab the running back. Or you could have picked this other gap to go get it. Grab the running back. That's just another example of why you always use the backside safety. He has less responsibility in pass coverage. He won't get blocked because he's he's an extra number. There's not enough numbers to block the backside safety on run plays. And man up your user on the running back so the computer helps you with the first snap, the first second of the play, the computer helps you going right to the running back. Now use all these tips to help stop the run out of every formation, goal line, shotgun, deuce close, whatever you want. Use these little tips, little secrets that we use as professional players and I use a lot when people try to run the ball on me. Let me know if you like this video. If you did, please hit the like button. Please hit the subscribe button. I'm trying to grow and I'm going to keep putting out these defensive videos to give you all small tips and, and even basic stuff that, you know, so most of the time I think people already know, but I'm starting to learn that, you know, people need help with everything. And that's what I'm here to do. So go ahead, like, comment, and please hit that sub button. I'm going to get back at y'all real soon with a new video. Need it!